Welcome everybody to episode 197 of House and Garden Flipper. We're going to head on over to the garden after the building house or garden after building the house, one of those two. And we're just going to get straight into um, flipping. I think we'll start with the garden and work our way through into the house. Uh, we are working on... Uh, what was it? Right working on a modern garden out here so we're not going to have a lot of a lot to do if i'm if i just keep it we've got the driveway done we're just going to keep everything relatively plain uh, inside we are playing with walls that's right and upstairs we are finishing the bedroom okay so we kind of know what we're doing maybe Alrighty. Well, let's get to it. Huh. So out the back we were going to have kind of like a cobblestone patio coming off the um, coming off the lounge room and we were going to put up a, a bit of a gazebo. So for that I need to get the cobblestones down first. So let's get that bit done because that's kind of important painting slabs I know I don't think this is the right quite the right thing but that's okay so let's work out where this can sit about there okay alrighty let's just get this bit done and again Got a bit carried away. All right, we'll take it all the way out the back this way. I suppose we just sketch it down. We should probably also put a path over to the um, over to the shed, or the garage, so that people can, you know, walk straight up from the garage into here. We'll do that in a minute as well. It's just we might just sketch out that area from here so I know when to stop. So yes, yeah, so we're going to try for simple, not complex, taking forever garden uh, today. Let's just see how this goes. Not sure how it's going to work for us. One more. And again. Alright, so now that we've got that section done, let's just shuffle this way. We'll just see how many of these we can get done standing in one spot. I could probably shuffle a little bit more this way. All right, so we've got all of this going. Yep, it needs to just move forward and we'll start again and get it all done. And we'll just, you know, make it all happen. I know, it's just jigsaws. All right, so we've got that in. We're gonna just wander this way. I don't think there's a door in the side, no. So we're just gonna grab, basically we'll grab a double path and give them a nice walk, broad walkway to get to their house with. So we'll just move this over. So I guess the first part of the day is just gonna be getting the paths down. And then we also need to put in the lighting. So lights, paths, uh, gazebo. Uh, I'll work that out in a minute. Just make it. You know, I might make it double to one point, and then we're going to work our way back, and we're going to move it so like the path looks like it has a, a little jink in the middle of it. So we'll just get this part done, and then we'll wander here, and we'll just try and get that straight I know I'm not doing too great a job there we go so we'll get that bit done as well and we're just going to wander through and just 
add in paving slabs but we're going to go with our 50 centimeter slabs and that will be just here so one and we'll just angle that one in all right so now you've got this weird little dog leg actually i might put another 50 50 50 100 by 100 paving slab in up here and another one i see what i'm doing i, I couldn't work I didn't work out why i wanted it but now it's what it is is it's because i want the dog leg to be as wide as the path and i just didn't know it there you go sometimes you just got to listen to that little voice inside your head Occasionally it makes sense. The game has eaten my cobblestone bits. Um, what we had in there was we had cobblestone bits without edging. So we had these in. So I'm just going to put them in again because I can. And I don't know if they'll stay this time, but we'll, we'll try. So we remember putting these bits in. Well, maybe I didn't. Maybe I just... Oh, no, it hasn't. I'm muddling up the house with the um, with the garage. And over in the garage, the game has not eaten my cobblestone bits. All right, I know. I'm lost in my own yard. That's terrible. So we're going to have an outdoor area that's comfortable. Let's find ourselves a gazebo. Structures. Gazebos and trellises. Uh, now, this is an alu arbor and it's glass, so what we might do is we might have this glass alu arbor kind of here. If you try and do it the other way around, it doesn't work terribly well. What's wrong? Alright, where am I? What if I stand maybe over on this side and we'll just see if that makes okay uh all right i can't knock the walls out all right so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to sell it oh no this is not good all right fine i can't sell it and i can't construct it uh i'm up behind the balcony and what's happening is it's obstructing the um, my ability to click on the things I need. Okay, so what I'm going to just do is I'm going to take a screenshot of that. And I'm going to wander back here. And I'm going to take a screenshot of... Just wander there, it's there, so that they can see the, the railings. And I'm going to just submit that as a, as a bug report and I'll see if it can be fixed because I don't think I can sell this either at the moment. Oh no, yes, I mean I can sell it. Maybe I won't submit it as a bug report then. Um, Alright, so I need to have it, if I want to have the alu arbor, I'm going to have to move it further out so that I don't get stuck on the house. So let's, let's see if being further away from the house can fix it. Yep. So it's only if you're too close to that railing and it, you end up in the um, and you end up stuck behind the balcony rails that it won't work. So you might not be able to have it as close to the house as you want, but you can still have it. You just have to move it further, far enough back that you can construct it without uh, troubles. Now I kind of like just the outdoor furniture, uh, which is big bad boom. Uh, I mean, we could go for that. That's kind of nice and minimal, but I was... Well, I mean, I guess. What have we got? No, I like I like the blue to echo the inside. I would prefer the wood to be white, though. No, no, I like the grey cushions as well. So we'll buy that. I think I might just...
you know, we might just sit that back here. And, and then we might have an armchair in here as well, like a Saras armchair with the white lid. We'll just grab that and we'll just pop it here, in which case I'm going to move the lounge chair just a little bit. So basically what I wanted was the backs of both chairs to be inside. I'm going to grab a Saras table because they have them. So that should be here. Uh, I know it's wood. Oh, wood is wood. It's got a place in this garden. That's right. And we can just... All right, and I think, we, I think we're just probably going to keep it as simple as that. Although this, this corner here is screaming for something. Uh, and I'm thinking not a Sarah's table, but maybe... Maybe just a table tinto in the white. Right there. So now you've got... You know, and that's that's pretty much all I want to do. Um, modern garden, modern garden, modern garden. We, I was going to put a fountain out here, wasn't I? Oops. Oh, well, too bad. Uh, what I might do is I might put it in between the, um, the tables and the chairs. No, actually. Let's leave that clear. And let's put the fountain right here. Uh, we will go with... I know, what was that about keeping it simple? Oops. Gazebos, trellises, fences. Alright, let's let's just Okay, under decorations. Alright. Decorations. And water decorations. Right. Okay, yes, we want one of these. We want it in the light. We want to buy many, and what we're going to do is we're going to just flip it this way. And I want to have something in between it, but I don't know what yet. I know, I was feeling pretty uninspired. I'm still feeling relatively uninspired, but... Um, things are starting to move inside my fuzzy little head, so maybe, maybe we're not completely lost after all. No, that's not what we're after. Uh, we're after something low to go in between. And I also want to have... Oops, go away. Right, I also want to have this. But I want to have it lighter if I can. Or that, that'll do nicely. Let's, let's just have a quick look. So we can have this here. Right, and and then uh, we need something uh, like garden pots. So raised brick flower bed, I think. And and what we're going to do is no, I need I need a slightly blue stone. Yeah, yeah, okay. I know I was going to stick with sandy. All right, so we need to just move this. A little bit that way. We need the flower bed in the middle. Right, and then we need to do the same thing over here. Except now I need to move those other things. I know, I'm not sure what I'm doing. It's it's insane. Just grab that, pop it there. And I wanted to have a, um, a gap. And we'll just grab this one and we'll move it slightly back. Okay, so what we're doing is checking out the fountain just from here. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to put something up the back, on the back wall. So I'm thinking we probably need another one of these. Another two of these, I would say. And okay, so now we do need another one of those wiggly fountain things. 
So we'll, we'll go with another water wall and we'll pop it here. And actually that now means I need to probably put one over here. There you go. Now, uh, so we've got things in the background. And we need, I think probably we need to gravel all of that. So let's... Let's grab our gravel. So we'll grab our surfaces and our two coloured gravel and make it square because I've got to deal with that back wall. Okay, yeah, and this is probably another one of those times when I yeah, okay. So it looks like I really needed to put down the um the gravel before I put down anything else. So I might have to fix that in a minute. Looks like the fountains don't don't share their don't share the love with the gravel. And I think I think I just made a mistake there because what we want to do is we want to um, let me just get this bit done. So yeah, so what we'll do is we'll put the gravel down here. And uh, the last thing I think we're going to probably put in this area is um, just some low grasses, maybe. All right, so I'll just grab this menace, pop it over there. Grab our gravel again, line it up, and I think what we'll do is we'll hopefully run it in a straight line Oops. up to the wall. But it, it does look like, yeah, so, so definitely we need to move. I mean, it'll go on top of the gravel, it just won't share its space with the gravel. Alright, so the question is, no, the question is I, I definitely want to fix up that mess just there. Which means I'm going to have to zap all of that gravel. Oh. And we'll put that there. There we go. Alright, so now we've got this all sorted out. And we just need to do the same thing over here. Move these water walls. So yeah, so when placing water walls, if you're going to have gravel, make sure you put your gravel down first. At least for now. I mean, it might be something that they tweak on the dev side of things later, but um, it's not really a problem. You just got to remember. There we go. Yeah, so the collision is not friendly. All right, let's grab this thing and we'll pop it back. One, two, three. And then we'll grab this thing and we'll pop it back. One, two, three. Just grab this and we'll grab it underneath it. I know, I love listening to the birds in this in this thing. It's pretty good. Grab that. All right. I don't know if I like this garden, but that's okay. As long as the tenants like the garden, that's really all that matters. Okay. Oh, it does help if you kind of line up the little S-bend shape things. So just move that back. Alright, so we now have we now have our, our hippie looking water walls and we are going to put we're going to put some grasses in but if I remember rightly these tubs are not going to lend themselves very well to grasses because they don't share the collision thing but let's let's have a look so these are these are your massive um, super huge tall grasses it's got the light feathery ones, it's got the yellow. I think we might just stick with that one. Yeah, see that's just... We're not putting those in there, that's too big. Alrighty. 1.5, 1 meter, 0.5. Pampas grass is massive. You know what, it's, it's actually not that massive, but it's still too massive for this area. Um, hmm. Ornamental blooming grass, maybe with a little bit of blue. So we could we could put some of these in. I'm not sure I can fit a bigger grass in yet. So I might just pop these in, in threes. And then we'll see if there's a grass that we can fit in between it, or at least a contrast that we can put. It's like little porcupines. I don't know. I 
probably should have chosen a slightly different coloured grass, I think. Alrighty. Uh, so we've got the Festo Guica in it. This one's a little bit broader and a little bit wheatlier. I oh, know, would I say about contrasting? I'm not very good at this contrasting thing. Don't really want to go. Well, red would brighten it up. I don't know if this would be. That's see, that's that's the same grey. I'm I'm doing the matching thing again. Let's just make it green. That that might connect. See, it's a little bit taller, so it still reminds me of spiders. Alright, that goes there. I thought I saw a flash of green a minute ago. There we are. Okay, so we can we can have that bit of contrast in these. Excellent, hopefully. Need something on the corner here so I think I need I think I need this about no I need I need something slightly taller uh, okay so this is 0 0.3 there's a 0 0.5 this is more contrasty though maybe because it's all fluffy okay it's too big All right. I don't really want to put anything else anywhere. And I've lost my light again. Okay, so I think I think that's probably going to be the extent of our modern garden, unless of course we want to add something in. Actually, we probably do want to add something there, but I don't know what. So let us go inside and see if we can work out. Why do I have the Johnson family? Why? Oh, because I put a big bed in there. Sigh. I know that they're, they're absolute menaces. I thought I made the bed. That's okay. I liked it rumpled anyway, but still, I thought I made it. Now I'm now I'm being a little bit disturbed. Part of the course, really. Let's go for a blue rug of some kind. Let's go decorations and floor. Uh, what did we use? We used this thing in the bathroom, didn't we? And we used the powdery blue kind of color. Except I'm thinking maybe maybe this time we don't want to tread carpet. We want a um, rectangular thing, and, and I might put put it very nicely under here. Except I want it to fit the space better, so we might flip it. All right, and then over here we're going to do the same thing. So I think medium is too big. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. All right. Just going to grab this. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to just fit it under the desk. We are going to put a chair on it. So I guess furniture is in order. We need our office. We need our... Fine. We need our office chairs. I'm just going to go for, for the... That. I mean, I could make it powder blue. It just looks a little odd. So maybe, maybe we want... Maybe we want a white office chair, please. Please, I can has, yes, I can so has the white. That looks a little bit better. Put that over there. All right, so it is a bedroom. So I suppose we also need a space where people can, I don't know, do their, do their makeup and store their clothes and put some books. We need books, right? Books are huge. Let's go with a bookcase. So maybe living room and shelves. And I like the more solid feel for this room, so we're going to go with, um, I mean, we can go with the really blocky feel of this. And it does have grey wood, so let's back it up. So, I mean, you've got that look.
Yeah, it kind of fits with the rest, doesn't it? All right, let's 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 pop this in. I was thinking of a limb bookcase, but I mean, I think I think this might actually fit it better. I know. Now we're, now we're getting happy students and happy Mr. Trusk. I'm not sure I want to ha have Mr. Trusk being terribly happy, but, you know, beggars and choosers and all of that. Now, uh, I need a slightly different feel over in this concert. I, I really wanted a bookcase that was small enough to fit in there that looked chunky, but I don't think we're going to get that. So what we're going to do is go over here to our not so chunky bookcases, grab ourselves a gray wood and really light metal. And uh, I think I can fit, I think I can fit that right there. Which means over here, we're going to actually have a, a really long dressing table of some kind. Uh, so we're going to grab the, the bedroom and we're going to grab our bedside, no, our wardrobes. I think I'll find it in wardrobes. So chest of drawers van, and we're going to go with the grey wood. Because again, we, we've got this chunky look going. So, oh, now, now this was this was my quandary. Did I want to have? Let me just flip this this way. So there's like this little space in behind the door, and what I was thinking was maybe we could put. Let's just grab this menace. I know. I knew I would eventually, eventually have to, have to move it. Uh, what I'm after. We'll put, better put it back in while I remember. Or I will forget. You know me, I will. So what I want to do is I want to put some mirrors in on this wall. Um, basically. So that the mirrors, let me just buy many here. I don't know how many I'm going to be able to use to fit across. So what I might do is I might put them in. And then I might wiggle the dressing table around to fit. So that'll work. That'll be just fine. Uh, except I think I wanted the top row to be leader. So we'll grab the leaders. There we go. Because they fit nicely in, uh, in there. Maybe that's too much. That's really tall now. No, you know what? We are going to just leave that in. And now we're going to just grab this and center it. I was actually trying to leave a space big enough for a pot plant on the other side. And I don't think I've quite succeeded. Uh, well, I can think of one that will fit. Just one. Uh, which is all the way down the bottom. Because it's one of the original pot plants that you, you get with the base set. That's good. Just really just out of the way there. Right. So we'll just pop this over here. Alrighty. So there we have our... Um, well, someone's happy with the flowers. And, and now I suppose we should put... It's technically not a dressing table, but I'll, I prefer it. I think we go to accessories. And we'll have a quick look at bathroom. We probably don't want to put toothpaste there, shampoo, soap, toothbrush, balsam, no, okay. It was an idea, but I don't think it's going to work. Just have a quick look. Hobby. Love the books. Kids. No, we're not putting kids in here. Um, kitchen, sauna, specialised tools. No one wants a wood saw on their dressing table. Okay, no one I know wants a wood saw on their dressing table. Let us go with some kind of plant, I think, and maybe, or we could go, we could go with a swan. It's the only sculpture, but we could. Oh. Let's have a look and see if we can put these. Oh, that's kind of big, isn't it? I really like them. Where can I put them? All right, we're going to put another pair in. Just to, I don't know, 
So we have these. That'll do. I want something small to go on this table now. Small and shiny. Yeah, that was unexpected. I didn't realize you could do that with the swans. Um, well, it's kind of square. Well, cube. <laughs> of course it's kind of square. What am I thinking? Uh, okay, so let's go with the Vasa cube. We'll just pop that in there. Beautiful. Except you can't see it. You know what? Why don't we go with the blue Vasa cube and we'll just see if that's enough contrast to make it visible. So we'll grab the blue and we'll pop it in there. There we go. Yes. Blue Vasa cube. We're good. Alrighty. Uh, I don't know what I want to put anywhere else, but I think that corner... No, that corner's now demanding I put something on the end of these shelves. But I don't know what. I think I think that has to be a plant. Um, and it has to be a little plant. And I was whining about the size of these little plants before. They weren't small enough. I think that's kind of big. Oh no, 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 no. This, this will do. Because it also fits in with the sansuria that we put in the other corner. Because it's kind of succulenty and spiky and stuff. There we go. Okay, now it's done. All right, I'm going to put the plant in the middle this time. And I just want one off-centered. Okay, maybe I don't want one off-centered. I don't know what I want. Let's let's put this one over here. I just think that's a little bit much is all. Yeah, no, you definitely just want the one off-centered. All right, so we've got that. And... I know, I got distracted for a minute. I suppose we should put some books on the bookcase just to keep that looking pretty. So we'll just head into Hobby and we'll grab ourselves maybe those because there's a bit more blue in them. I know. Well, how did you decide on your books? They were blue. All right. I'm still trying to work out what to put over here. See, if I put a computer screen over here, um, young Jimmy Trader there is going to have an absolute fit. But wait a minute, weren't we ignoring our clients? We were. Absolutely, we were. Uh, decorations. I know, I occasionally just get really stuck for inspiration. All right, maybe not. Maybe we just want those little stone pot things. Uh, standing decorations. So. No, see, that would be grey on grey. Uh, we want maybe, maybe a slightly bigger one. Yeah, and then I think what we want is a really huge one. just clipping we'll just move it forward a little bit there we go all right I like that space over there not so sure about the rest of the spaces but I like that one okay we need a desk lamp and I think we do probably need a computer monitor and stuff up there because I mean if you're going to be working at home you're going to want to have all your bits and bobs together so what was I doing desk lamp so we we're looking for lights we we're looking for standing and we were going to put one of these right there maybe turn it off pick it up and reposition it and turn it on there we go Seriously, Dolan Trusk, I put a lamp in your office. 
and you're a happy bunny. Man, I don't know whether to feel sad or happy now. Probably sad. Let's put an Emmy Harbour keyboard in here. That looks like a really kind of ferocious keyboard. Let's just pop it in there. And then I think what we'll do is we'll pop... I think that's really cute. Um, an Encom panoramic monitor with the blue. Just see if I can convince it to sit. There. Okay, we probably should give this person a mouse to, to play with. There's, there's a cute little mouse somewhere in here. Probably under entertainment. There we go. We'll make it dark blue. No, which way around does your mouse go? Alright. That's right, and I'm supposed to be putting in bedroom things. So the other thing we really need is I, I would like to put a, um, a bookcase. I know, bedroom things, and she goes right for the bookcases. Don't look at me like that. It's just the way it is. Grab that. Flip it. Just pop it here. Now we have some bookcases. We also probably should put in somewhere for clothes. I mean, we've got the drawers, but we, we really probably need to think about... I'm thinking a child's wardrobe for this because it's good and solid and will match. Whereas the, the other one I like, which is the Hermes, is nice, but it won't fit the kind of style that's in the room. We might buy two. Let's just make sure we haven't obscured the door. No, we're good. So wardrobes, drawers. We need something in this corner and something over here, and I don't know what. Probably another bookcase is my guess. Uh, which means we probably have to oops, head back to the office. No, wait. We have to head back to the living room. I knew that. Head into shelves, and we're just going to grab um, grab our bookcase, van, and our grey wood. And I think we'll buy. We might buy one. And just pop it. I mean, if you're going to have a space upstairs that you can just occupy and relax in, you might as well have everything you need in it. All right. It's looking a little bit more populated now. I think. I think we probably need to go with our sensoria again. So into our decorations, into our plants, zip it down to the bottom. We also got monsteras, they're kind of cute. And the dracaenas as well. I mean, you use dracaena with a light blue pot. Yeah, no, I don't think so. We're going to stick with the whole succulent kind of theme. Just get that in, put that there. stick a second one there and another one. No, not quite. I know, just because it's a space does not mean it has to be filled. I, I keep... We, we can just put one in there, it will be okay. And the same can go for this space over here, I don't think we should have the two. So I might just zap that one. Just move it back a little bit. That's a bit better, I don't know about the plethora of plants to be honest. Um. I'm thinking we want something like this and just a tiny little bit in the corner. I know I've unbalanced the room. All right, but I think I might call it there for this room. We need it. We need a rug. We do. We do so need a, need a rug. 
that rug on the floor. Huge rug. Not in red. Although, actually having a look at that, that's, that's, um, I, I know it's really bad that I like that. What happens if I make it extra large? All right, and I like the red, but I know what's wrong with me. The blue blends though, so we might we might stick with our blue. Just leave it there. All right, but that I think is where this room is done. Actually, it's not because we have not put pictures in the room. We need a, a picture above that bed in tones of blue and tones of red. No. We're not Dr. Zeus and we're not rhyming. Uh, where are we? How about, uh, we, we have a nice abstract. I, I didn't mind that, what I was looking at, that kind of appealed ones, the, the mountains. That's kind of pretty. I don't know if there's anything bedroomy. I mean, there's that, that's purple. I have not used the water lilies for a while, but there's a lot of pink in it, I don't think. Yeah, I just think it's I think it's not right for the room for some reason I know I'm about to be in Veronica's bad books we, what we might do is I mean we've also got this which I kind of like it's it's quieter but you could go wow you could go medium I don't think it I'm not sure let's um let's try I don't know let's try this painting thing that we saw a minute ago the, the swirls of blue thing brush movement okay brush movement will do and unfortunately I don't think it's going to move doll and trusk out of there but we're not making this house for anyone in particular we're just we're just putting it in. I know that, that that spot is demanding I put something there. I don't know what I want to put. Okay. I am going to run away from this room before it before I get sucked into it again. It's the parents corner. The working parents corner. The more functional corner. Oh, we've forgotten the outside balconies. We should we should go deal with that. So uh, I don't know how this works. I mean, I know I can't I can't get those to turn on. I really wish I could. Uh, I think it, this is kind of more like a space where you just lean out and look over the neighborhood but I'd like it to be there's the okay it opens on that side I'd like to put just a, a spot you could sit can we fit a rug out here I don't think so but we can try let's um see oh wait we can fit a rug out here all right let's make it one of those comfortable outdoor rugs. I oh, know it's hanging off the edge of the balcony, I just don't want it to. That'll do. And then I guess, I guess we can, can you, if I can fit that, can I fit other floor things down? Like, maybe some of that. No, okay, the game says, game says no. So what I was thinking was out here, just a tiny little chair, so maybe um, one of those little bucket chair things from the living room. I know, bucket chairs, that's that's not quite what they're called. Um, I think we actually already use them inside, so we have like the Scrooster. But the thing I was thinking of were, were these. Okay, now I'm looking at them, I don't think so. Let's just grab our Scrooster in the blue with the light legs. And... Um, 
Is that game says no? Game game does not like having the chair there. Maybe I need an outdoor chair. Ah, there will be no putting the living room furniture out on the patio. <laughs> Alright, well I guess that tells me we're going to have to go in here and find our chair. We have a Bissan, Bissane. Maybe it's the rug that's causing it conniptions. Let's just try this. Okay, you can put a rug outside, but the rest of your furniture will hate you. Nice. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to just angle this chair, pop it in the corner. We are going to go find ourselves a tiny little table somewhere. The Bissane, does that come with a table? It does, but I think it's a big table. Yeah, see, that looks kind of huge, doesn't it? Oh my lord, no, that's too big. Alright, so we're, we're back to these things. I think I'm going to go with the Jamaica in the white. No, I'm not, that's too big. What I want is a little, little table, because I think the Tinto's got the same problem. Yeah. But it ceases to be a problem, I suspect, when I put it. So if I put that in the corner, I should, 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 should. So you've, you've kind of got like an overlook at that point. I don't like it. To be honest, I really don't like it. I'm just going to get rid of that. And I'm going to pop this over here. And, and maybe you just have to balance your coffee on your on your lap. Um, now, can I pave? out here. I can't put tiles down, but can I pave? Let's have a look and see. See, because we got this composite board, right? I, I can. All right, now let's see if, if the rug was the problem with the flooring. No, no, the flooring is definitely an inside thing. Okay, so we can pave out here. We could put this composite board down and have like um, if if I can get it to blend in. Okay, let me just. Oh, okay. Yep, I see. The um, the post is the problem there. Right, let's just grab this chair and throw it inside for a minute, and we will we will pave the um, pave the paver. Now, what I want to do is have that going all the way up. So maybe I can composite board it all the way to, um, if I can get 25, see that's 50 by 50. So composite decking board, this stuff, it should fit. It's not going to fit perfectly. And it maybe if I grab this, and I wriggle it out here. So what I'm going to try and do is put another bit of composite decking board up in the corner. It's not perfect, uh, obviously. But I'm... Let me just grab that and throw it just there for a minute. And let me grab this. 
Okay, no, it really isn't going to let me do that. Rude. Fine. Alright, so if I could have all of it paved, I would, but I, I can't and it looks icky. So we'll just get rid of that for the moment. And it looks like we're just going to have to be happy with our chair on the concrete veranda. Alright, but that's, that's that balcony done. It really looks incomplete, doesn't it? Maybe, maybe I can... I know, I don't know what I'm doing. Absolutely no idea. I could put that there. And we could just angle that kind of there. No. See, but if you put that there, you're going to walk straight into it. That doesn't work. Alright, you. I'll be mad for a minute. Put that over there. Grab that. It just looks like two randomly placed objects. Maybe, maybe I'll just leave the balcony as it is. We could probably put some kind of pot plant out here. Uh, I don't know. Structures. No, we want um, decorations. Yeah, garden pots. Flower pot ratio. And maybe I could put one there. And and maybe I can put. Maybe I could put a tree in it, or some other kind of tall, squishy plant. Actually, I just had a thought. I could put a tree out there on the patio, and it wouldn't have to be an outdoor one either. Let's just zap that. We will grab a, um, go in here, we'll go into decorations, and we'll go into plants, and we will grab like a yeah that one I think it is so it's kind of like a little foreign fruit tree thing and we'll put it here right and then maybe the chair will suit now that one just just a chair and it's tree Oh, we might angle it a little bit. No, no, okay, no angling. Yeah, so you can go out and you can sit down with your tree um, in the garden. All right, so that's that side of the house done. Yeah, all right, so next time I think what we're going to do is we're going to finish this upstairs area. We're going to do like a little, um, little sitting room area here. And we'll work on the balcony out here. How oh, that kind of works. Nifty. I think we will leave. I don't know what to do with that space. We'll think about it. But there you go. So on that note, I am going to leave you. If you've enjoyed this episode, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. And I'll check you later. Take care out there.